Okay, looks like we're live. Ha! Oh my gosh. Well, it's been a technical uh, challenge this morning, but uh, kind of new to all this live streaming. So we're hoping this. I'm hoping this is working. It says live. Ah, well, I'm gonna be back in the saddle temporarily. Uh, didn't work on my pat tablet, but this is my phone. So. Welcome everybody to the Spy Pyro Dennis Bateman live stream and we got some interesting things to sign today so uh, let's get started. Hope you're all having a great day and thanks for uh, thanks for dropping by. Now I have um, something here for Joshua Havey. So I'm hoping, I was hoping you could do your best drawing of a spy crab. Thanks. The old spy crab. All right, let's see what I can do with him. <clears throat> to Joshua Havey. A little spy crab here. See if I remember how this goes. Okay. There is the spy noir to Joshua with a spy crab. Good on you, Joshua. So moving right along. Let's see, I have one here for Sean. It just says Pyro Forever. <laughs> Go Pyro. So this is number 591. Let's see here what I can do. No other instructions. So give you a little spy line here or pyro line. And I don't remember how to spell my own name. We're good. Okay. Sean. Hold on, hold on. I wrote going out to you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what folks are asking here. Unfortunately, my comments are sideways. This is a little strange. Extinction. Death join. Liz, Gammy, Bonk, join. Oh, folks are joining in. Great. All right. Well, listen, I'm just going to keep on signing. And I'll try to get some of your, some of your questions. We got a lot, a lot to get through here today. The next one is for uh, Lolly number five ninety two. <clears throat> Can you draw cat ears and whiskers on pyro face, please? Thank you. Cat ears and whiskers. That's a first. Never had that. I've had people request the beanie. I've done the beanie before, but um, let's see what I can do with cat whiskers. And it's two, okay, L, 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 O, L, L, Y, Lolly, okay. <laughs> it's kind of cute, really. Turn Pyro into a, a cat. <laughs> I love it. feline pyro somehow I don't know I think it fits why not okay there you go lolly and that's number 592 and next we go to 593 hey Dennis thank you very much for doing this also would love if you could doodle a little balloonicorn who's this for that's 593, and this goes out to Harrison. Okay, let's go here with a balloonicorn. All right. Let's 
Jackson's. Five nine three to Harrison. Get a little words of wisdom here from Pyro. And uh <clears throat> my unicorn looks like Trying to get a good picture of the balloon corn in my head. <laughs> Pretty bad balloon corn. I'll be humble. We'll work on him later. <laughs> Okay, there you go, Harrison. There's your balloonicorn. There's your pyro. Oh boy, it helps to you know have multi talents besides just voice work for this kind of thing. Recording at valve, like anything. What was recording experience at valve? What were the requirements of the role? Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right, real quick. A little prehistory on the uh, on the pyro and the spy. Uh, this game came up about 15, 16 years ago, I believe, and uh, I was just a working actor in in uh, in uh, Seattle and going on whatever auditions I, my agent would send me. And gaming was already pretty big here, you know. It's been been going now for a good thirty years. Earlier when I first got here, you know, the earliest games are being done. And uh, then they started using professional voice talent for these um, for these gigs. So uh, I went in for the audition. Or well, actually, no. I now that I recall, I was already uh, doing a home studio at that point. So I sent in my audition on an MP3. I've got the copy sent to me. They call the copies the dialogue, and I printed that out. And the the spec specifications were kind of all over the place. Said you know just do what you want to with this. We'd like to hear a European sort of uh, voice for the spy. And so I, uh, you know, did a German, I did a, tried to do a Spanish, um, an English voice, and I thought, well, I'll throw in kind of a trashy, uh, you know, uh, elite, elitist-sounding uh, Frenchman and see what, what, if that flies. And sure enough, that's the one that hit the wall and stuck. So uh, when I was in the session doing the first se um, uh, recording session for, uh, for Spy, at the end of it, they said, that's great, and uh, so we got that done. Now, uh, they have another character. There's another character that we have we want to find a voice for. We haven't cast him yet. Would you like to give him a try? And I said, Sh yeah, sure, why not? So um, that's when they handed me the pyro. I looked at this dialogue. It looked all very normal and logical, and they said, here's the thing. The problem with, uh, with this character is that um, he is always in a gas mask, so you can't really understand what he's saying. But this is what he's saying. And so we did various things. Uh, you know, I tried to say, you know, this, and that's not what we're looking for. And I said, uh, well, how about something like, and I said, no, I don't know. That doesn't sound like he's got something over his mouth. So I went, so I guess it sounded more muffled, you know, like you would have if you had a World War One gas mask on. And they said, that's it. That's the voice we're looking for. And the rest is history. Um, the pyro voice was born. So, and people seem to get a kick out of him, which I love. So, that's an answer to that question, and we'll move on here now to uh, 604. Which is a portrait of the pyro. No uh, particular instructions, so just uh, easy peasy, simple and sweet. And there's not even really a name on here, so he's just going to get a taking a little love tap there. This goes out to number 604, and it's a pyro with a little heart there. I like I like these old um, portraits. You know, these are replicas of the ones that hang 
in the lobby. There's a whole rogues gallery of really big versions of these pictures. There's also a, uh, a spy and all the other guys too. And don't they, don't they look like nice, um, you know, graduation pictures for the, the mercenaries or maybe a, a corporate, uh, an annual report <laughs> for Team Fortress 2? Yeah, you'll never see him looking this clean and put together. Uh, anyway, that is Pyro Portrait. Now, let's move on to 608, which is a spy noir. I like this guy a lot, too. And this goes out to Jamil, Dr. Bob Ahmed. All right. Jamil. Bob. A H M and Ahmed Jamil Doc, Dr. Bob Dr. Bob no other instructions so let's put a signature on him there he is this is what we call the spy noir I've mentioned this before, but what I love about this is that this one, especially with this little guy down here, just takes me right back to the glory days, the golden age of the spy in popular culture, because it was the Cold War when I was a kid, and uh, we were all expecting the A-bomb to drop in at any moment, you know, when we were given, uh, people were building bomb shelters in their backyards out of concrete and telling us that if the, if the big one ever dropped, we were to actually just get under our desks. That would protect us. Yeah. Really? Anyway, uh, but a lot of great spy characters came out of that era. And this guy reminds me kind of of uh, Napoleon Solo from uh, The Man from Uncle. So that goes out to Dr. Bob. That is the spy noir. Really cool guy. Now, 609 is for his a Angle Forever. Angle for. Number forever. Okay, angle forever. No instructions here, so I'll just give you a two angle for ever. And there it is. To Angle Forever. This is the great new Flapjack version of Mr. Pyro. Anything different for your other gigs? Recording at Valve. Hmm. All right. Same question. So let's move on to number 612. Put a happy birthday on it since it's a birthday gift, please, and thank you to Nicholas. This is the duo shot of the two dudes that I do do do. And uh, a dark one, so I like to use the um, paint pen for this. Shows up better. This goes out to Nicholas. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! It's a spy end. There you go. Bright, shiny version of the two dudes. <laughs> Ruthless mercenaries that they are. Okay. Not seeing any more comments, so I'll just keep moving on. Hope that the folks who ordered these will be watching them. And we go next to number 613, which goes out to Sintessa. No instructions, just want to thank you for the hard work and TF2 characters. Wish you all well. Thank you, Sintessa. Uh, so, this one, T-S-A. Put in a little uh, greeting here.
go on, let's do this in my blindfold at this point. <laughs> there we go. To Sintessa. Mon petit chauffeur. Mon petit chauffeur. Your friend, the spy. I hope the audio is good on this. Um, as you guys can hear me, I could maybe try to turn it up a little bit. Uh, that was Sintessa, and that was number 613 out of 614. Looks like this is for Daniel Catbug. Daniel Catbug. No instructions, just a pyro portrait. All right. Daniel in parentheses cat and bug Okay, that's done for Daniel. Now we go. Another spy noir goes out to Michael. Sign the name of my spy knife in the top left corner, which is Victoria. All right. This is a nice light background, so I can use a sharpie. You know, a sharpie doesn't doesn't uh, hurt anything. So, Vic Victoria. Oh, it says, top left corner, Victoria, okay, and two, Michael. There you go, Michael. So I'd go with this very chic sort of lavender there, okay. All right, we're going to... Uh, six fifteen. I don't know if I'm, am I getting? All right, I don't see any more chats coming through. Could be a problem on my end. I, I'm, I haven't done this on a phone before. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> I wish I could see your comments. Oh, here we go. They're just not scrolling anymore. Hope you're having a good day, Dennis. Well, now I am. I really am, yes. Uh, I already know we got to say it yesterday, but we are greedy. Do you think you can say yippee as pyro pretty please? <laughs> yippee as pyro. <laughs> From Skyified. Uh, all good here. All right, oh, oh, let me get rid of that. There we go. There we're back. I've got sausage fingers. You know, everything I touch just makes uh, chaos. Love to read Gary's books. Can you can you flip the camera? Um, I well I could, but I've got it plugged in, so. Charge is all right. Let's try this. That seem better. There you go. <laughs> Good idea. Now I don't have to go like this. Okay, let's move along to. You realize, you know, there's no way to hide the fact that I'm just a boomer and on, a, on, a, on a steep learning curve. So, uh, so next we go to. Apollos, Apollos, write something on the back. Okay. Literally anything, a joke, a quote, a little smiley with it. Okay. Uh, how about one of my favorites? Okay. 
Oh. Oh, shoot. All right, well. Apollos. I put your, uh, your little joke on the front. Sorry. Let me know, Apollos, if you'd like me to redo this. But I will also put it on the back. But I have here your picture with you put the Nito in incognito. It's a pretty great lame spy joke, all right? So you just let me know if that's acceptable. Um, otherwise, I'll just leave it the way it is, but you let me know. So. Number 617 is... Cosmin, no instructions, just a Cosmin. I did flip the camera, so let's see. Yesterday's stream as much as much as work for lag. I thought I did that, but I will try. Upload yesterday's stream. I thought I saved that. Uh, let me make a note. That was Sunday. I will try to remember to do that if I can. Always a challenge. A surprisingly pleasant kind of green. <laughs> Thank you. This this wall paint actually, I'm not surprised you like it because it was um, it was some some leftover paint that we got from the Seattle Art Museum from. Uh, a new installation that they did. And they, of course, they repaint the galleries every time they have a new art installation come in. And they just had some leftover paint, and my, uh, my lovely wife said, I like that, so uh, let's, let's use that. And we did. Playing hooky from work for a mental health day. <laughs> I I'm hope, I'm, hope I'm making you smile. I try my best. You're making me smile, too. Have you done 500 plus signatures? Getting there, not yet. Getting there. Original TF2 spy. Uh, original TF2 spies left. Kind of worried that mine got lost. Um, no, there's plenty. At this point, I'm doing um, the VIP photos, um, which need to be completed first. So we'll get around to the other ones soon. All right, let's uh, move ahead to Cosmin. Yes. All right. Cosmin, there you go. All right. Yes. <clears throat> One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, buckle some more. <laughs> I have sausage fingers too. Good. Glad to know I'm not alone in that. Okay, now that was Cosmin. We're on to the next 50 here. And I've got 625, which is Josh. Okay. He says, don't forget to spy check. As a quote, sign as both pyro and spy. Uh, and a little flower next to Pyro. Well, okay. Tall order here. Let's get moving. All right, Josh. We like to please. Don't forget. And let's see, a little flower, huh? Flower, how about a little? Uh... <sighs> All 
There you go, Josh. To Josh. Don't forget to spy check. And here is your little flower smiling at you. A sort of blood red daisy or a fire red daisy. That's uh, that's number six. 25 to Josh. Next we'll go to Cass. Number 626. Okay. Please write something goofy like a spy quote. It was also my birthday recently, so could I please get a happy birthday on stream? Thank you. Okay, absolutely. And I will write one of my favorite quotes here regarding birthdays. Yes, all right. Happy birthday. Which is... I love birthdays, but too many are not good for your health. <laughs> Don't have too many birthdays, you may regret it. Again, another lame gag from the spy archives, but it's dark. And I think it fits with his personality. So there we go. Cass. <laughs> Mr. Spy going out to you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is... What do we got here? Oh. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is... 627 going out to Nick, which is um, a poster size, and uh, it again is one of the uh, early sort of prehistory of TF2 images when I think they were, uh, you know, just ballparking images and, and ideas here. And I really love them, I really they make me uh, happy. Uh, because you get to see sort of the, the creative process, you know, of these wonderful artists. I don't even know who made these, but this goes back to the beginning. So this goes out to Nick, and it's a pyro. And Nick let's see, says, if possible, please say skill issue as pyro. Well, let's see here. How would pyro spell this? Or how would any sane person spell it if I wrote Pyro is speaking? Okay. There is early Pyro. You know? It's not your grandpa's Pyro anymore, like like this. And he says Skill issue. And there's him with his his I love don't you love the mask, the the um gas mask over here's like a full head thing and uh just a little uh porthole to look through. So that's it. You like those? Got plenty of those left. And there's also one of the spy, of course. So to you, Nick. Skill issue pyro. Here you go. I imagine pyro writes in drawings. <laughs> probably so. Pyro is probably, you know, not so great with English. He might be illiterate. Who knows? Who could tell? But, you know, when you've got a flamethrower, who needs English, right? I can't stay long, but keep being awesome. Thank you. It's some Wario. Okay. Got that screenshot. All right. Uh, next we go to... Let's see. That was... That was Nick. And next we have... Uh, Sam Stevenson says, Please add something cool on it. Thanks. Also good to know your favorite is Key Lime Pie. Yeah, it is. I must have divulged that. I, 
I'm blanking on exactly when, but uh, probably my my initial live stream when I was I was um, multitasking <laughs> and uh, key lime pie. Who likes key lime pie? Anybody? You gotta try that. It's delicious and wonderfully tropical. So uh, Sam. Stephen Sun. Yeah, let's give you a signature. Okay. Pyro. And what do you do for a key lime pie? Let's see, key lime pie. Okay. Come up here in the corner a little bit. Mmm, even pyro. Knows how to say, hmm. Just let you know exactly what this is. And put in a new color like this. Okay, Sam, there you go. There's, there's the, the uh, pyro. And this is my picture of a key lime pie and the pyro says mmm mm. and uh, it might look like a taco salad but it's a key lime pie okay <laughs> those are good on really warm days that was number 629 and we go to Okay, 639 is also a uh, pyro poster, just like the one we just did. This one goes out to Derek. Okay, and that's it. Just a signature pin to Derek. A little autography here. There you go, Derek. Trying to get him on the on the phone here. Let's get him on the phone. There's Derek. There's his pyro. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, never had one. Try it. Key lime pie. You know, it's not hard to make either. The only uh, hitch is it takes like six eggs to make one pie. So, if your cholesterol is good, go for it. Key lime pie is a pie made with a special type of Florida. That's true. Key limes are little bitty ones. I'm not exactly sure what the difference in flavor is, but they're really good. All right. From, let's see where we're at now. That was, was that Derek? Yes, that was Derek. So now we go to number 640, which is to... Christian Guthrie. Christian. All right. No particular instructions. <clears throat> Put a name. No inscription here. Spells it in all lowercase. Christian Guthrie. So this is number 640, two Christian. There is your vintage pyro shot. It's like a little, little slab of fire that just sort of, he just burped a little flame there, okay? <laughs> That's a bad habit of pyros. When he burps, it's, it's hot and dangerous. Okay, uh, next. Key Lime Pyro, I like it. Key Lime Pyro, Domi. I just need him. 
My drawings are fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, you know, I'm not so sure that they meet my standards, but I'm glad you, I'm glad you like them. Pyro likes pie. How to draw <laughs> key lime. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, to me it looks a little more like a taco salad, but it's a key lime pie. <clears throat> okay, now we're on to 643, which is Jacob or Jacob? Could you possibly also write gentlemen? If not, that's fine. Sure, we can write gentlemen. That's J A K O B Jacob. Gentlemen, have you by any chance seen a spy in the building? I believe that's a quote from Meet the Spy. One of my favorites, Meet the Spy. Mon petit chauffeur. I loved it when he said, uh, listen up, boy, or pornography starring your mother will be the second worst thing that happens to you today. Not very nice, but that's him. All right, up to John, 644, he wants pyro. Really glad to see all the pyro love today. That's just uh, really warms the cockles of his heart. You know, if they could be any hotter, they would be. Uh, and this goes to John. Another John down there. I'm getting a little mixed up by John's here. Uh, okay. John. Okay. A little vintage pyro. And vintage meaning last, last season, but, uh, they're beautiful shots, aren't they? And that one actually is by Gwen Morris, in case you didn't know. Uh, let's see. Lovely art. I've never had one. It's a it's an American dish, very refreshing in humid environments. Oh yeah. That's one thing about Seattle, it never gets very hot here, and I don't get enough key lime pie. Can I speak French? Je suis très heureux de faire votre connaissance. Not very well. Je ne parle pas bien votre langue. Meaning, I don't talk your language very good. Do you think Pyro takes the mask off when eating, or does it just inhale the food through his mask? Or maybe he just drinks it? <laughs> yeah, good question. Um, I'd have to ask him, but uh, I think he probably uses an asbestos straw, you know, so that doesn't burn up. But I think he could probably suck a key lime pie through a straw if it was big enough. Um, now we're on to number 647, who is another John, and, uh, a special instruction, so, sweet and sweet. Pleasure to meet you. That was 647. This is 648. To Victoria. Can you please write, Gentlemen, I appear to have burst. Gentlemen, I appear to have burst into flames next to Spy and draw a smiley face next to Pyro. Thank you so much. Of course we can. <clears throat> Victoria, like the queen, Gentle, gentlemen, appear to have burst into and Do a 
smiley with a paint pen, but do our best. Gentlemen, I appear to have burst into flames. There was your smelly face, if you must have one. There you go. The, the two dudes. All right, let's move on here to... Uh, 648, that was to Victoria. And this one goes out to Tez. Let's see. He wants a old school pyro here too. He wants to keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. Now that was six fifty. Next one we'll jump down to six fifty three. Who is Kenneth Huckleberry Runk, who says the best Frenchman to exist in any gaming history? Oh, I'm very flattered by your uh, assessment of my French. The French all uh, we would like to thank you. We say merci beaucoup, mon ami. Magnifique. Okay, this goes to uh, Kenneth Huckleberry Rock. Vintage last year, Mr. Spy. <clears throat> That's Mr. Spy, he's 6.53. Let's see how time we have got. So I began this at 11.30 uh, because of about a half hour of uh, technical difficulties. And I guess I've been going about an hour, so good, let's keep going. Puppy is a pet, but he doesn't have a name. What name would you give the puppy? You know, I don't have a puppy, but I, I'm thought about getting one. And um, I, I had a dog once named Fritzi, Fritzi the Dachshund, Prissy the Chihuahua, Rocky the Cocker Spaniel, Louis the, uh, the Poodle. Uh, they all eventually died. But lately I've been thinking there's a, there's an old old time um, game show host. It's very popular, and he was a very very big uh, advocate of animal rights. And his name was Bob Barker. I don't think he's with us anymore, but um, he he was a constant sight on TV when I was younger. Game show guy, and uh, so I think I'd like to name my dog Bob Barker. And just uh, hope that he wouldn't bark too much. But uh, I just think that's a really ridiculously funny name for a dog. So that's what I would do. Say, so here, Bob. <laughs> Voice actors are one of the reasons the game is still alive. Thank you for bringing life to life the iconic characters. That's good. I never stopped to think. <laughs> you know, once, uh, once we go on to the... Uh, to the big mosh pit in the sky, uh, yeah, who will be left to uh, to get goofy over TF2? Yeah, yeah, well, I hope the game will stay alive. I'm sure glad uh, 
you guys are keeping us busy having fun and uh doing doing meeting up with you so let's go let's move on to the next picture and that would be for looks like a paulo a paulo number 654 a spy portrait keep being awesome sign it on his forehead it would be funny okay that's cool uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because I generally try to stay off the face with my signature. I figure if you want a picture, you want to see the guy. But um, he's got a big forehead. It's just like a canvas. So let's go for it. I really kind of like that. I like that. What do you think of Paolo? <laughs> it is uh, certainly a good place for it. Very noticeable. So they went out to a Paolo. Next is Gucky Man. It says, love you guys. And we love you too. And everybody out there who is a playa. We love our playas. Hope you can all attend one of the Comic Cons sometime. I'm new to this. I've only done one uh, Comic Con. I attended for four days and was actually there signing and meeting folks and doing, you know, panel discussions and uh, Q and A's. It was a blast, and I was so impressed with all of the swag and the uh, oh, the cosplay was phenomenal. Yeah, and I even one of my friends who waited in line probably four hours or more to to um, get an autograph. That's dedication. I just think uh, it's amazing. Gave me this. This little, this little spy who talks like this, I think. Whoops. <laughs> Fortunately, I am breakable. <laughs> Don't mess with the spy. Hmm. You see, I've ever seen your, your grandpa doing stuff like this? No. No, it takes a special kind of uh, special kind of clown, right? So, Gucky Man, let's do you here. <clears throat> let's see, Gucky Man only says "love you, guy." So, uh, something here to say: we love you back. Gucky man, you read a little star right here. Or not a star, a heart, of course, a heart. From your friend and mine, the spy. Okay, from Gucky man, we go to Ryan Pitts, says you are epic. Well, you know, uh, if you stay in this business long enough, and you stick it out long enough and you start to outlive some of your competition, you become epic. I mean, it's just a thing. You don't even have to try. Um, but we're epic because of Team Fortress, too, and we really all all dig it. So um, let's go with Ryan here. take a little bit to dry we can smear gotta be careful okay all right that was Ryan Pitts next I have here 661 who is Eric who would like I don't know how Pyro got a higher voice than spy I don't know how, how that worked but uh but it is slightly, you know. I think it's just all of that um, gasoline that he inhales all the time, or butane, whatever it is. <laughs> Could be a helium. That'd be explosive. And that would, that would make your voice go up here. 661 to Eric. Thank you. 
Okay, <laughs> I'll smear that. Eric. From the pyro to you. Next we have 664, who is, I thought it was Alan, but it's actually Alien. Can you draw the spy doing a high five taunt? We'll find out right now. Okay. So I'm going to put a little to Alien. And a uh, signature here. And, okay, here we go. It's going to take a moment. I'll try to do it quick. What is it? A high five taunt. <laughs> I've seen that with Scout a lot. Yeah. What sort of a weapon should he have here? Let's give him his big gun. Okay, how's that? There's, there's a spy on a, on a bad day. <laughs> Giving his high five taunt. Okay, that goes out to Alien. Alien. I love all, I love all you guys' names. I just uh, get a kick out of them. I hope I'm pronouncing most of them right. I really have to be careful to spell them right. I'm working hard on that. I want you to know. Uh, next comes... Gage Delish, Delich, perhaps. Gage, number 665. Let's go here. No instructions, just a signature. You can hear my lamp wobbling over there. There you go, Gage. Spy, spy noir. You must like the night time. All right. Spy portrait is next, going out to Joseph A, number 666. <sighs> Joseph. Would you leave a little smiley face on there and the text on it? Thanks. Love your stuff. That's Joseph A. All right. <clears throat> oh, put the signature on here. You guys want that. Okay. Joseph. Little smiley face under I do have, uh, you know, this split personality thing going on with these two guys, and sometimes I will speak speak French as the pyro, which is really, um, but we really know who he is. Uh, that was Joseph. Next is Gabriel Perry. He wants a spy noir. Uh, so no special instructions. Okay, there you go, Gabriel, Monsieur Gabriel, Gabriel Perry, it is your picture. <clears throat> Number 669 is another duo 
Next pick, going to Chong Sup Shin. Chong Sup Shin. Please write surprise butts eggs and a little smiley of some sort to the ace up my sleeve and my partner in crime. <laughs> butts eggs are good. So also, could you do a cute Poro impression? Oh gosh, I suppose I could, but I don't know that I know any, you know? Uh, uh, if you can do one Frenchman, I guess you can pretty much do them all. Uh, so but let's get done with this. So, I'm going to make sure I got this one spelled right. Chang Sup. Shin. Surprise. To the ace up my sleeve. And also my partner in crime. What would uh, Hercule Poirot say? Well, I appear to be running out of mustache wax. This is a catastrophe. This is a catastrophe. I am Hercule Poirot. Of course, I think Hercule Poirot was Belgian, wasn't he? So that's... That is a special sort of French accent, I would imagine. Anyway, here you go, Chong Sop. <clears throat> Next is Levi. He's number 670. And if you are able to draw your own Doodle of the Spy, thank you so much. Oh, boy. Well, I've done a few of those, so we'll give it a shot. I'll try a little different color here. Since he is a blue or a red spy, right? Uh, anyway. And, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see what I can do. In the suit. Go with a blue spy here. Spy for a spy. Okay. And the blue mask. Signature. And uh, what the heck? A little bonus here. There we go. How's that doodle? <laughs> Crazy, huh? How a guy can uh, have a cigarette s sit in his mouth with his wings wide open, huh? Anyway, that's for Levi. That's your doodle. <clears throat> you learn something new. I live that. I love that. Limeade is a certified. Yes, I love limeade. Oh, God, I love limeade too much. The thing is, with limeade, is lots of sugar, you know? Guys, don't make me thirsty for lemon juice. <laughs> it's really true. I'm trying to limeade out. Limeade is easy to make. Oh, we're sharing recipes. I'm glad, glad to see that. Yeah, good. <laughs> Okay, love to watch, look at your comments, but we've got, we've got miles to go before I sleep. Uh, next is, I think, looks like Rachel, number 677. Please write, keep it scorching, Ray. All right, and that's a... Guess who that is? Guess who that would be if it's scorching? Did we talk about the Human Torch yesterday? Did you guys ever read any early or vintage uh, Fantastic Four? The Human Torch 
was the young Turk. I loved him the best. And I've always uh, sort of pictured the pyro <laughs> being a descendant of the human torch somehow. Maybe the heavy is a descendant of the thing, you know. I cry like little baby. <laughs> Okay, strange little, strange little text there from elsewhere. Six seven seven is Rachel. Okay. I think in the future I'm actually gonna try to uh, get my art done with lighter spaces on it for for um, for autographing, so that. I can do it a little quicker. The paint pen takes a, a while to dry out. And I like to use the Sharpies. They're good. But I will use the paint pen if absolutely necessary to show up there. Or if on request. But it does have a lot of fumes, you know. After a lot of signing, you go and go, Ooh. Rachel? Keep it scorching. That was it, right? Keep it scorching, Ray. <laughs> there you go. Going to you. Next is someone called Totally Private. We'd love you to sign it with both your name and also Flaming Love from Pyro. Okay, that's what you, we will do. With flaming love. There you are, totally private. And so you shall stay, totally private. Uh, next is. Let's see. Six eighty six is no name. Just wanted to thank you and other talented VAs for everything you amazing people have done. Best wishes and lots of love. To from number six eighty six, thank you. Right back at you. Lots of love to you and uh, all of our friends. Number sixty nine. This is a spy by Flapjack. Newish one. Just a name. That goes out to 686. And next is John. John. Okay, he just wants a no instructions, just a pyro. My own John Hancock. There you go, John. There's your pyro. Next is, uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing, Bree, B R E, with an accent mark, or perhaps Bre. Anyway, number 688. No, yeah, 688. And no special instructions. To the point. To Bray or Bree. Yours with love from the spy. That's Bree. 689. Please sign on the left side of the page near the mouth and under signature write, Well, 
Off to visit your mother. <laughs> All right, here we go. No name on that one except mine. Well, off to visit your mother. Mon petit chevleur, your your am um, your ami your amo is the spy. I love the look on his face. It's like, don't you even think about it, don't you even think about it. <laughs> Scary guy. Okay, uh, lovable bad boys. Let's see, six ninety nine. Next is six ninety. Hey Dennis, such a huge fan. Thanks for all you do. Can you please put You Got Blood on My Suit? Add a spy crab to the side of that. I love that the spy crab is, has become such a thing. It's a, such a cute little guy. I mean, how many crustaceans do you have as stuffy toys, you know? How many crustaceans? And I've seen a lot of them at, uh, I saw a lot of them at the Comic Con, and I love to sign them, except uh, they're so plush, it's kind of. It's kind of hard, you know, with the ink, it kind of just soaks right in there, but uh, we do our best. That's from Alexander Olson. So, Alexander. Alexander Olson. So to use Van Vanger, I'm going to have to have a sign of that. Okay. Good. There we go. Alexander. <clears throat> Next, Alexander, we go down here to... Let's oh, see, that one was... Hold on, I just have to check something here. Make sure we've got everything. And also, uh, 690. Yes, 690. Okay, so now we have someone named Ninja Pie. Okay, and Ninja Pie simply wants a pie row. So, Ninja Pie. And yours truly. Where are you going, Ninja Pie? Hobble, hobble. All right, so Ninja Pie. The next one is Jackson Kingsford, 697. Make sure I got these numbers right. It's a lot to keep track of here. Make sure everybody gets the right things. Uh, actually, Jackson Kingsford leaves a message. Let's see what that is. I just want to say thank you so much for being just an amazing voice actor and great person. Spy has always been there in my low moments in life, and Spy was always there for me when I was in my high moments in life. Uh, and thanks to Spy, I even got two little friends. Spy crabs. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Thank you, Jackson. Now, let's give you your reward. Jackson Kingsford. Okay. Just for kicks. Paying the love forward. There you go, Jackson. Little heart for you. <clears throat> 700 goes to um, a person called.
called Glitch, all in capital letters. Can you draw a little doodle of fire next to your signature, please? Sure I can. I'm not the pyro for nothing. Okay. But a hood a hood. fire pen here. Little fire. Oh, that's hot, sorry. <laughs> Maybe a little dot of yellow there for the fire. There's Glitch with his little bit of fire. Keep the embers burning. And that was 700. Let's go down to 701. No name on that one, but he says, uh, they say, uh, I'm Hecolo as a small voice actor myself. I just want to say that you, the voices of TF2 is what inspired me to start. That's great. I'm hope you have, I hope you're having a great career and enjoying the voice work. You know, it's so much, there's so much opportunity to just use your voice today that we didn't have when I started out. Um, gosh, you know, it was, I mean, we, we never even could record anything from home. We always had to go into big, you know, massively equipped studios to even audition. And um, gosh, what you can send around the world in a, the blink of an eye with your voice and your image, to, it's amazing, right? The, the digital revolution has really changed things for voice talent. So good luck with that. And... Uh, it's number 701 to Heckelo. Good luck to you, Heckelo. making progress here. We're really getting through these, which I'm really pleased about. So, let's go to 703. And that's just a name. A name on the pyro. I'm sorry, the spy. You see what happens after a while? It's like these two guys just both live in my head. And I never know which, gonna, which one's going to pop out when. But uh, that's 7.03. And it's just a spy with the name of his friend, Denise Bateman. And now we go on to 7.04. 7.04, who is again just... This time a pyro. Uh, there's no instructions. I was just sort of like throw in a. That's number seven o four. The pyro by flapjack. Next is 709. 709, just another. Uh, uh, just give me another one, just like the other one. Pyro. They're pyro. Those uh, flapjack prints have been really popular, and I'm so glad to see that because they're so beautiful. Flapjack is such a great artist. All of them are, aren't aren't they? I mean, I am really just uh, and blown away by not, you know, not just the the animation in the game just stuns me every time. It's some of the greatest, isn't it? I really love the animation and the way it's all put together. 
because we just re recorded some voices. It was those magicians at Valve, you know, and all their team who, who made it what it is. Um, but also the art that, that uh, is provided to us by Streamly. And by, by the way, um, everything I'm signing here today, as you know, is available on Streamly.com. And um, there you can learn about any events that are coming up. Uh, with the voice talent and various other things. So uh, thank you for being as interested and lovely people as you are. And I love con contacting you through Streamily. Hope to see you all someday at a con. Um, okay, what do we got? Which number we got here? This is 713. And 713 is Eddie and Polo, or Poyo, Eddie and Polo. He says, include a favorite quote and a spy crab doodle with a bow on its head, add a little spice to that thang, many thanks. Okay, <laughs> Eddie and uh, Polo, or Poyo. See, just a little knowledge of foreign languages makes you dangerous. Makes you very likely to embarrass yourself around someone who can really speak it, right? But I try. And I love accents. I'm sure most all of you who do the uh, voiceover work experiment with your accents and your voice facility, as I call it. Oh, spy crap. Oh, he's got lots of legs. Oh, yes, yes. And the uh, bow on his head. Never seen that before, but sh sure. He's a dressy spy car. Include a favorite quote. My favorite quote on this one is, I'll see you in hell, you handsome rogue. There's the spy crab. <laughs> That's number 713 to Eddie and Pollo, and I hope that was spicy enough for you. Uh, number 715 is someone who, le who prefers to remain anonymous, but by their number, which is 715. Uh, so. Quote here for you. Mr. Anonymous or Ms. Ms. Anonymous. Um, at seven fifteen. Next is seven seventeen. And we might actually be getting to the end here. That doodle's amazing. Levi says, oh, thank you. Thank you, Levi. Wow, amazing. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, Apollos. Keep it going, man. And if you do, let me know before so I can record it. Okay. Apollos, I guess you're on, so are you ready? Happy birthday, Apollos. Keep it going, man. It's so much fun to see all of your comments here. Sketchy Doodle just missed his poster getting signed. This will get saved or re-uploaded so you can later watch it later. Uh, I Yes, I believe I can do that. <clears throat> I did it on the first one. I believe I can. Poyo. Oh, there you go. Okay, Eddie says it's Poyo. Good to know. Poyo. I thought it might be. I can't believe I missed the signing of Totally Private. I didn't think you were going to start the signing today again. Oh, well, uh, it was a signing, and the picture's are on your way, Totally Private. Text, but probably my personal favorite. Rending the fire is so good, I could not agree more. Okay. 
I you know I do my best to to um, honor everyone's requests, but there's a lot of them, and uh, time is of the essence. So we'll do what we can, but I guarantee that whatever you ordered of the Spy and Pyro will be on your plate very soon. So we have next 717. Thomas Kowalik, number one Pyro Main. I just request a sizable signature over the bottom middle to right corner in silver if possible. And of course, your name. Okay. Let's see, Thomas. Number one. Pyro. <clears throat> Number one pyromane in silver. There you go. On to 718, who is Marilyn. Can you write spy in our midst? Of course, Marilyn. Spy noir here. Spy in our midst. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you guys have stayed with me this long. We just have a few more left, and then I'll look at some uh, more comments. What do you say? Um, this is 719, and it one goes. This one goes out to either Ada, Ada, or Ada. I think it's Ada. Just a nice message to her, and if you could add in a couple little hearts, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay. To Ada. Ada. Mon petit chauffeur. There you go, Ada. A little heart would be presented. There you are. <clears throat> Next we have Lunar Gim. Now I've seen Lunar Gim's name up here. I imagine him they might be with us now. And Lunar Gim is number 720. Right behind you. I think I remember that one from Meet the Spy. Makes me, makes me think of uh, Rick May. <laughs> I think it was Rick who uh, who blew the head off, off the, uh, the red spy and kicks his arm and says, See, he's red. Oh, wait a minute. That's blood. Rick was a good friend and a terrific performer, a joyous presence to have around. And we miss him dearly. Luna Gim right behind you. Let's see here. We're right, we're right down to the last few here so that I can do today. So um, this is number 722 for 
Alex. And it is a little Monsieur Spy. Alex just apparently wants his name and my name. To Alex. There you go. Winging its way to you. All right, um, that was 7.22, this is 7.23, and it goes out to Zachary F. Hello, Dennis, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you very much. Can you please write, gentlemen, synchronize your death watches? Oh, of course. Synchro, that's a big word, synchro, synchronize your death watches, the spy. That's the spy. The spy we all know and love. Seven twenty four. It's a picture of the spy. Someone who remains anonymous. Please give it some spy and pi spy and pyro flair. Well, okay. I shall do it. This is 724, whom we do not know. There we go. Spy and Pyro. I would say this spy has flair to burn, wouldn't you? <clears throat> and that's probably what the Pyro would say as well. So that was 724. 726 is a spy. Thank you so much. This is Adam. Thank you so much. For ringing joy to me over the years, would you please mind writing, I'll see you in hell, you handsome rogue, along with the name. Very well. Seven, seven twenty-six. I'll see you in hell, you handsome rogue. Where else? After all, my compatriot Jean-Paul Sartre said, Hell is wherever you are at. Just a happy note. <laughs> but he was called an existentialist. They weren't, a, they weren't a generally too... Uh, too Funny bunch. There you go, Adam. That's you and Helio and some rogue. All right, let's see. Next we have uh, Damon Bishop. And that is number seven seven twenty eight. I hate to ask. But could I ask a small quote? It can be anything. If not, I totally understand. Thank you for voicing my childhood. Oh, I hear that so much. I'm so gratified that you guys got to spend some fun time with us in your childhood. And even today, if you're still players, which I think most a lot of you are, 
the community seems to be really global, which I love. Damon Bishop, right behind you, by the spy. All right, now, let's see. We're just about down to the... That was Damon. That's Damon. That's all. Well, I am stunned, but I think, let me just check here, I believe that's the, the allotment for today, guys. <clears throat> okay, um, let's see, what's, let's go cook in here with you guys. What's my fave color? Boy, that's a tough one. Boy, I don't know. Um, I, I kind of like the earthy tones. Years ago, there was something called getting your colors done. It was a huge rage all over the country. And there were books out that sort of looked at your skin. You know, you look at your skin tone, your, uh, your, I don't know, your hair color, stuff like that. And they would give you tips about how to buy your clothes. And mine were, at that point, were uh, kind of earthy tones. I think the older I get, they might be more winter tones. They were, they were all, uh, yeah, the sort of summer, fall, winter, and autumn. No, summer, fall, winter, summer, fall, spring. Yes, that was the other one. The season we should be in right now. So I'd say mine is something in the green, the greenish brown area, like my eyes, you know, kind of, kind of uh, what they call hazel. Did you have a nice weekend? I did have a nice weekend. The beautiful, some beautiful weather here. Um, I only had some thorny technical issues in trying to get to you guys and, Fortunately, uh, I was able to finally pull it off, so I had a great time. I haven't been able to see most of the Lion streams. It's great to see you. Thank you. I am... Now, who is this? This is Yoshik Mochik. I am the one in Akrilion. That's what he wants to hear. Mm, okay. Oops. Tree friend, that's me. Thank you so much. Okay, well, let's see what time we've got. It is two. I'm starting at eleven thirty. Lost about a uh, half an hour. So um, I think I will at this point close this live stream because uh, I'll go get some lunch. You can too, uh, wherever you are, or whatever time of day you're at, and. Um, I'll check my stock and see what's left, and if necessary, we'll have another live stream signing. Um, otherwise, thank you all for coming. It's been great getting with you here today, and um, I think I'm getting this live stream thing down, you know? So I'm glad you all have incredible patience with me, and I appreciate it and love you all. Have a good rest of your day and the week, all right? Bye-bye.